Hi, I'm Mo, and for Philly Chaser Chats today, I'm here with Lauren Miltenberger from Villanova. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, you know, we already know each other. We've um, been working together on your uh, public administration class. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about what that is and what you're trying to accomplish with the course? Sure, great. Um, well, it's, it's, a, it's an introductory class to public administration, so we start with looking at government um, systems of government and we do it through a lens of accountability, internal and external accountability functions and learning about government. Um, then we switch to um, looking at the nonprofit sector as, as a piece of public administration. Um, and the third piece of the course is um, we look at a new book called The Solution Revolution, mm -hmm. which is um, a new model that's being applied to a, a public administration approach or governance style where um, how can government, the nonprofit sector, businesses come together to solve big public problems? So it's kind of a three-pronged approach in the class. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it's I love seeing how the uh, different universities are responding to kind of the ever-changing way that uh, we need to be addressing social issues in the city. It's pretty great. So. Could you talk a little bit about uh, one of the projects that maybe came out of the last class that you had? Yeah, sure. Um, and and two, I I I I'd also like to speak just about Villanova itself mm -hmm. and the the mission of the university. It's it, it's a Catholic university with an Augustinian focus and Augustinian philosophy, which mm -hmm. we the the purpose of the university is um, yes education in a caring environment, but there is a very heavy service component to Villanova. Mm -hmm. um, large amounts of students participate in community service projects. Huge um, numbers of students um, participate in, you know, volunteering and, and mission working with mission-driven organizations. So, um, what we're seeing with this type of class is there is a huge supply of students who are mm -hmm. very interested in That's learning. Great. You know, yet they've they've had the volunteer, the hands-on, maybe practical hands-on experience, and mm -hmm. now they're having a course to then combine that or, or apply what they've experienced with some theoretical, conceptual, and um, m new models of, of public administration. Um, so for, you know, in terms of the projects that, that we've had, um, well, last year, there were, I, one that jumps out at me is um, there was a, a foster care uh, project where they looked at the city of Philadelphia and thought about how to restructure the way that the foster care system works in in the city. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, you know, using, again, using the Solution Revolution model to say, how can we, basically the Solution Revolution model is um, creating partnerships. So it's mm -hmm. who, who are the, the main stakeholders, they call them wave makers, but you know, who are the main stakeholders in this space, in this issue area? How can we connect them through um, new technology? Mm -hmm. And then how can we help them create new resources with new business models. So it is mm -hmm. a, it is a, it has a, an underlying business approach to, you know, combining tax revenues with new business models and new ways of using technology and collaboration. So that's kind of the, the gist of, of this model. Um, yeah. So I remember, yeah, last year the, the foster care um, group did a great job really thinking through how um, the social workers could use technology to connect parents with the city, with the nonprofit sector, um, using new ideas of creating new business models to generate revenue for this type of program, things that maybe haven't been thought before but are mm -hmm. coming straight from the book. Mm -hmm. You know, where other places, that's the other beauty of this book, this model, this solution revolution model, it's all based on things that have been done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's okay, well let's learn from Chicago or let's learn yeah. from South Africa that's or let's so learn from, yeah. um, so that's a great piece of the book too. They, it's uh, uh, The whole model is based upon empirical data of oh. things like this happening and working in, in other parts of the world. Um, Another interesting ex example of, of a project um, in a different class, uh, but related to public policy class, um, we did uh, policy analysis projects where went in and analyzed a public problem and come up, came up with some solutions. Mm -hmm. um, there was one team that looked at the education school district of Philadelphia okay. and came up with some really interesting and um, new but grounded reforms to the way that the si that education is delivered and the school district functions. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that one of our alums from our Masters of Public Administration program 
works for the city of Philadelphia. So what we're, what I'm trying to do, or what you know, what our program sees us being as a, a connector or a link between you know some of the work that the students are doing in class, um, wonderful, outstanding contributions um, from coursework, having a meeting. That, so there's a meeting that's hopefully going to happen uh, between the students and. Uh, someone from the, the school district to talk about, wow, you know, let's have an idea exchange here. What did you wow. include in your project? How maybe can you use that? So that that's a, you know, that's that's happened once and um, a, a couple times that that's happened where we've kind of introduced students in, in their projects mm -hmm. to people or our alumni network, yeah. um, uh, to alums who are working in for those organizations or in that space. To, to share to ideas, yeah, plug them in, see, yeah, see, yeah, have a conversation. How can we help you, or you know, what, a new way to think about this? That's so fantastic. Uh, well, it seems like this is rocking and rolling. I love all of this kind of like collaboration and uh, kind of like teamwork and like really kind of getting a comprehensive view mm -hmm. of issues. Mm -hmm. Like as students are trying to address them. That's really, it's really encouraging and really great. Um, something that I would love to see more yeah, in universities. Absolutely. So. Well, and that, and that, that to me is the point. I mean, I was a practitioner. I, I worked for a nonprofit. Um, so I feel that the role of universities and the, and the role of a professor and, and the role of academia in, in general is to be that bridge between theory and practice and, and provide examples in applied situations where students can learn from theory, learn from analysis, learn from um, you know, doing research, but also, what does that mean for practice? If, if you know, if there is no connection to practice, then in my mind, what is the point of doing yeah. the theories and the studies and, and analyzing the issues when, you know, it needs there needs to be a nice segue between what we're doing um, in the academic world and what practitioners need, and the, and yeah. the, and the role of you know the the professor or the teacher and the instructor is to connect those dots and really you know, help provide solutions back and forth across across those two things that can be a divide but should not be a divide Absolutely. at all. Yeah. Wow, that is so much to take in. I love it. I, I'm so excited for other people to kind of learn about and maybe even model their own classes after this kind of stuff. So thank you so much yes, my pleasure. for thank coming you. in. Thank it was really me. great to have you. Um, I'll look forward to, uh, we'll be speaking more. Yes, yeah. and then <laughs> you're, you're coming into class soon, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so great, we'll, great. we'll keep everybody updated on it. Thank you, cool. thanks for having me. Awesome, thanks Lauren.